I think it's been a good week of preparation and I certainly know the kids are excited to play. And got to take advantage of the time we have left to make sure that every I is dotted, T's are crossed, and, and then kids go out and, and get to start this season. Coach, what are kind of the big things you've noticed from starting camp now that you're the end of camp going into the first game? The things I've noticed, you notice a lot every day. Um, I think they're ready to play. I, I don't know how to quite answer that one because you, you should, and, and we do notice a lot of things. We haven't really asked you about Utah State much this week, uh, but what, what, what kind of challenges did they, did they present? You see? I think you know we know of them from last year's film, and and certainly teams can and, and do change year to year. You know from what we've seen on film and our preparation. You know, a lot of good players that are returning. And uh, and I think schematically, we don't know for sure what they're going to give us, but what they've shown on film, I think there's there's areas, you know, from what we project from their offense and, and what we've seen from their defense and, and even special teams that, that give you, present challenges. You know, and I think the kids have done a good job of, of preparing for that, but any first game, you're going to run into some things that, you haven't prepared for, you haven't seen, and, and that's where we've got to rely on rules and rely on communication. And uh, I think that's always a big part of early games. Well, last year, we didn't really see A.J. Taylor with the ball in his hands a lot as a receiver. Right. But I know in high school, he ran the ball a lot. What do you expect from him on kickoff returns? Because he sounded excited that it kind of took him back to his high school days as a running back. Yeah, I, I think that A.J., there's one guy I think that's had a really a, a heck of a camp, and I'm excited to see AJ play and progress and grow this season. And, and certainly, you know, in the return game is an area where that he's put a lot of time into it and, and go. But I think as a receiver, he's grown. And it's, and it's to be expected, and to his credit, you know, he's more confident. He's more confident, certainly, in his knowledge base of, of what we're doing. I think, that, you know, when a kid plays his first year and, and as they prepare for the second year, they're more confident in what's coming, you know, so they can prepare for that. I, I've liked what he's done and, and where he's at. And so excitement in his voice, I think, is probably due to a lot of things. And, and most importantly, I think it's because he's, he's gotten better. And he's, I think he's in a good spot right now. What questions, if any, do you still have, other than maybe needing to see him in a game, about Dieter at left tackle? Anything? No, I think, you know, as we go through spring balls and, and fall camps with these guys, you know, there's not a lot of questions from guys that have played. I think the, the, the unknown is, is how to, you know, kids that are playing their first time. That, that's what changes. And I think every guy, whether you've started, you know, for three years, there's excitement for the, the new season. There's excitement for games. But getting back to Michael, you know, it's, it's, there's probably going to be some comfort of being out there you know he's played in a lot of games but um, not looking to see if he can do something or boy there's that unknown that if he does this then Michael's what we think he is I think we got a pretty good picture of him do you feel like you accomplished everything you wanted to in fall camp or are there any glaring concerns you feel like weren't addressed in the last five weeks I think we've gotten a lot done in camp and and I think if you ask any coach there's more you want to accomplish and and yet Never will get there, probably. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that it's time for us to play a game. And uh, I think we're ready for it, but we have not arrived as a team. I think each individual has got stuff in, in their game that they've got to continue to work on and improve. And so, uh, and I'd say that to the last game. You're trying to determine whether two, pre two freshmen's going to play or not. Do you think about how they might react in a game, the first game. Does that go into determining whether you feel comfortable to put them on the field? I, I think that's part of it, but I think what is a good indicator is how are they reacting in the practice and in, in the situations you go through. You, you know, I think that as coaches, you try to prepare your players for as many things as you can that are game-like, but there's no way to prepare them for a game day. But I do think there's enough moments that you can find out how they react. And, and, and so uh, certainly 
would only put kids out there if, if we have confidence in them. And the truth is probably we have confidence when you know that they have confidence in themselves. Paul, when you go into a first game, and I maybe this applies every game, how quickly does it take, or how long does it take a player or even a new coaching staff to make adjustments on their original plan? Because I'm sure you guys have been planning for weeks for this first game. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, when you make adjustments or plans, it's also what the other team is doing. So um, I think there's, you know, when you have a new staff, uh, a new structure, whatever that may be, there's going to be some, some, some time to get used to it. And yet, I think we can also do a lot of that during camp. And as far as in-game adjustments, it, it all depends on the amount of adjustments needed. And, and that so often is what's the opponent doing to you? Was your preparation plan accurate? And, and so I don't know if it's, I think it does then apply to, it could be the first game, it could be the last game, it could be in the middle as far as when you have to do make the adjustment, what types of adjustments you have to make. And, and I think it's also, you know, what can, all adjustments are what can your players handle. And I think you as a coach, when you know your team, you make better adjustments because you know what they can absorb and not absorb. What are you most excited about seeing this Friday from, from your team? Seeing the guys play. And, you know, I think that right now we've got a blank slate and, and you know, Friday night will be the first, first of many chapters, the first of many moments. And, and it's always good at the end of the year to look back and this is who we are. Or, you know, this is who we were, I should say. But it's the moments during the year that, that define that. And so I, I look forward to this team playing and, you know, how it handles success, how it handles adversity, how it handles, you know, the, the moments in games. It's, uh, that's the fun part about the game to me.